Hey YouTube, so I just came back from my one month vacation and boy the trip was epic. I had a great time. My children didn't want to come home but hey, like I told my children, all good storybook has an end and so this trip has to end somewhere somehow. So I'm home. Uh, before I went on vacation, I bought this little refrigerator freezer. Uh, let's see, the brand name is A-A-O-B-O-S-I. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's just the brand name. It is A-A-O-B-O-S-I. And this is a 25 liter small refrigerator. It plugs right into your 12 volt cigarette lighter adapter. And it's an awesome, awesome uh, unit. When I bought it, I wasn't really sure, but as I went on my trip, I took it with me, filled it up with uh, meat that my wife was going to cook for us, and it kept it frozen all the way. Um, it was able to hold enough meat to last us a couple of days until we have to refill it. So my wife is to cook for us, and so I want to show you the refrigerator here so this is a little refrigerator right here fits right into the uh, center aisle between the uh, the middle seats in my van so it's a very nice unit this plug right here this is the power cord and this is the cigarette plug that goes right into this the 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, plug thing jig and it was able to keep my food that I have in here frozen okay now you see the arrows here here there you go I touched it that's the maximum temperature that I can set that's negative four and here if you want it to be warmer if you just want it to be a refrigerator you can just press the little button here and you can tune it to the way you want it to be. Right now it's going down, it just went down a degree. It's 24 degree right now. But I wanted to show you that it was really nice. Now you see this little flashing symbol right here? It's a, it's a Bluetooth symbol. So if you want to control this unit here with your phone, you could. Um, however, I didn't have a need for it. I just set it at a certain temperature that I like and kept it there. So, this is an ice chest right here and it's it's cold icy cold so the so the evaporator coil is on the side right here and so uh, it doesn't it doesn't make ice it uh, well my experience has been that when I was using this little thing right here it doesn't form ice it just keeps everything cool and cold and frozen and so that's what I like about this unit right so here, here, there's a drain plug right here. If you happen to have uh, ice in here and it starts to thaw, you can, you know, you can unplug this drain plug right here and the water will flow out. But I didn't have any use, uh, I didn't have the need to do that because the food that we kept in here, it was frozen and it never thawed. So, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, and so this unit right here, it's super quiet. You, you, can, you can listen to this. And it, that's it. That's, it's super quiet. And so whatever you hear, whatever you're hearing is, is the, uh, my, washer, my washing and dryer, my washer and dryer machine, uh, laundry machine that we are uh, washing our clothes in. So these are our clothes. We just got back home. <laughs> My wife's doing laundry. Sorry about that. So anywho, <clears throat> and then when you get to your destination, if you want to take this out of your car, if you want to remove this out of your car, you may. And so they include a adapter cable uh, uh, here as well. And it's plugged into a 110 plug right here. And it goes right into here. So... This thing uses 12 volt DC. And so I just find that it's that also awesome. So here's 
here's the gist of everything here. The compressor is in here, okay? You can you could feel the air being pushed out and then here the air being sucked in on this side. Okay? Put your hand right here and you can feel the air being sucked in here and pushing out here. And uh, what this is warm right here. So, when you put this in your car, make sure you're not suffocating the vent here because <clears throat> it'll lose its uh, efficiency. So, this is the vent right here. The, the air goes in this way and out the other way here. So, make sure you are not blocking the vent here or else it'll overheat and it'll, it'll cut short the compressor in there. So, that's what I discovered about this. Oh, another thing. When you when you are taking this removing this in and out of your car be very very diligent and careful with it don't slam it on the ground because you will obviously when you slam it on the ground you will hurt the compressor and it's electronic so be very ginger with this unit um so like i said it's been with me for a whole month you can see that there's scuff marks right here that's because on top of this we also play stuff on here while we were on the way, on the road. And so there's scuff marks here, but that doesn't bother the unit. It's, it's actually um, a very robust unit here. So um, if you want the dimension, um, I've already gave it to you on my first review. But this is my last and final review on a scale of one to 10, okay, I give it a 10. The reason is because I have no issues with this. Uh, granted, you may look at the space here and uh, think to yourself that it's not very spacious, but it was able to hold all of the food uh, with no issue at all. For the whole month trip that we uh, did in our car, and using this little refrigerator, it did awesome. We have no issue with it uh, warming up or not working or breaking down on us. It never did that. <clears throat> and so um, so right now it's going down to 12 degrees. So as you can see, it's, it's a pretty powerful unit for its uh, diminutive size. Like I say, this unit right here goes right between my middle seats and it's as if it was built for it so thumbs up oh okay so where do i where did i buy this i bought this from amazon and the price right now i just checked it's going for 279 uh the rating is a four star however with my experience with this i give it a five star I have no issue with it whatsoever. I totally, totally love it. I recommend this to anyone. And also, this, there, there, there were times when I left this in my car overnight and uh, you know how it is when you turn off the key, there's no more power supply that goes into here. So what that means is that it's just sitting there dead, but in the morning, when I check my food, it's still frozen. And that's what I like about this unit. It just doesn't warm up uh, so easily. It, or it was able to keep my food frozen even when there's no power supply to it. And in 100 degrees weather inside the cabin, when I, even if after I turned off my engine for 24 hours, it still kept my food frozen. And as soon as I start the engine... The temperature, because I set at negative four, the temperature starts to go down right in front of my eyes. Like for example, right now, it's eight degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see, it's it's a very efficient unit, and I have nothing but good things to say about it. Well, let me know what let me know what your thoughts are. This is my experience. Oh, here, you see this little um, indentation here. There's one in the back here so it's it's it makes for good uh handle like grip where you can put your hand here and then the other hand here and lift it up 
that's it guys this is my final review of this little Amazon unit the brand name here show you right here it's a o o b o s i don't know how to pronounce that oh sorry it's a capital a little a o b o s i a o b o c i don't know but that's what it is pretty nice unit